Hey guys, welcome to my channel Tokyo Foodie Sarah. I'm actually really really excited for today because I am going to an all you can eat sushi. I've seen mixed reviews on this place so I'm not sure what it's gonna be like but I thought I'd have to try it myself and let you guys know if it's worth it or if it's better just to go to a normal sushi restaurant. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. In order for me to maximize the experience, I didn't have that much breakfast so hopefully I can eat a lot of sushi and yeah, hopefully the 4,500 yen is gonna be worth it. We'll see. This restaurant is called Hina Sushi and it's where you can enjoy all you can eat high class sushi so you can get quantity and quality at the same time. They have six branches only in Tokyo. I made a booking so I didn't have to wait but there was a queue of people so I think it's best to book this place in advance. They also have lunch sets. The lunch sets come with less expensive sushi and the set with 15 pieces of sushi is just over 1,600 yen including tax which I think is quite reasonable. The all you can eat option is just over 4,300 yen. That's not cheap. I'd have to see how many pieces of sushi I can eat to find out if that much money will be worth it or not. Once you get seated, you fill in your sushi order on this order form. They have an English menu as well, so that's nice. So you place your order on this sheet of paper, right? And because I don't want wasabi, I have to circle this bit. I wanted some abalone, abalone, um, scallops, mm. ooh, aji, horse mackerel. Ooh, they have rolls. Negi maguro. Ooh, more salmon. <gasps> Fatty tuna. You know what, I'm gonna go for natto. Tuna I'll be honest with you, I don't know if it's their tactics or if the sushi chefs are super busy with all the orders but the sushi does take a while for it to arrive so make sure you order your sushi in advance. So I am here at the sushi restaurant and they give you some green tea and also some chawanmushi like steamed egg and I got my first piece of sushi. Woo! What's this? It's mackerel. Oh apparently it's good with the salt, so I'm gonna put it on. Oh, I'm so excited for this. Mmm. Oh my god, the meat is super soft. And I like this smoky smell of it. My bad, I said it was mackerel because it said mackerel here. But it was actually kimmedai. Like red green, I think it's called in English. Yeah, it was still very good. Waiting for some other sushi to arrive. You guys, the sushi has arrived on just one plate. Oh my god, that is like so freaking Instagrammable. You know, I'm gonna take a thumbnail with this, right? Let me start it. You need some soy sauce first, right? Yes, I'm so excited. Let's try the, the standard tuna first. Red meat tuna. Mm. Do you know what? That's actually quite fresh. On TripAdvisor, I read some reviews saying that the sushi isn't really fresh and it's like really overrated. But I feel like, yeah, the tuna was really fresh so far. Let me try the Thai. Thai? Red bream. Mmm! Okay, I'm now gonna try out the sea urchin because the taste of the sea urchin really depends on the freshness. So, it looks okay. It looks decent to me. Doesn't smell that fishy. Let me try it. And you know what? I ordered an egg roll sushi. I know this isn't like the most expensive sushi ever, but I still love it, so I had to order it. <laughs> mm. I love the sweet taste of the egg roll. It feels like home. And by the way, they give you um, some pickled ginger. 
for you to cleanse your palate in between the sushi. Mm. Salmon! 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 <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, mama. The sushi dance. Ikura. Salmon roll. Mm. Anago. Honga eel. Smoked fatty tuna. This must be good. Mm. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. This one went a bit below my expectations. I was expecting more like a fatty tuna and this just tasted like normal tuna just saying you know but it's just my opinion some bonito bonito oh soy sauce mm. Mm. and some sweet shrimp i read on google that this thing is called sweet shrimp but is it the right english you guys tell me it looks shiny Mm. That is fresh. So I've had 11 sushi so far and I've ordered 10 more pieces of sushi and I'm not sure like it does take quite a while for it to arrive so I feel like I'm gonna go for my third plate of sushi just because all right I got my second plate of sushi this is all for myself FYI and I got some temaki like sushi roll it's so cute I'll take you through um, I got some I think that's tuna abalone potate scallop my favorite one of my favorites leek and tuna roll oh natto and tuna haha <laughs> unagi eel aji I think horse mackerel and salmon yay right actually before I start going into this plate of sushi I feel like I should order my third plate of sushi so let me think about it okay that's gonna be my additional 10 pieces of sushi Woo! right time to dig into it ooh tuna tuna I think that's fatty tuna there we go That fatty tuna definitely melts in your mouth, as Chris Broad would say all the time. <laughs> Awabi! Mm. It's quite crunchy. Horse mackerel. The ginger on the top is so cute. <laughs> unagi. Well, they call it unagi. I'm not sure if it's actually unagi. It looks quite white to me. Mm, I'll take that back. It was actually unagi. It's really soft. It's very very nice. Wow. I never thought unagi sushi was this good. Scallop. Wow, that is like next level freshness. I can tell it's definitely not like frozen or thawed. That is so freaking good. Oh my god, the scallop. Definitely recommend this. More fatty tuna. natto and tuna sushi don't order this if you don't like natto just saying but i like it so mm. <laughs> now i'm gonna go for the temaki sushi but it's actually quite heavy and it's got quite a bit of rice inside i thought it wasn't a good strategy if i wanted to eat a lot of pieces of sushi mm. i feel like this is gonna fill me up and i have another avocado one coming soon yeah let's hope i don't die Mm. 
get my third plate of sushi. We have all sorts of gunkan and nigiri and another temaki. This one's the avocado temaki. Right. Look at that. It's another piece of art. I'm actually quite okay, like stomach wise. But let's see if I die after this squid. All right, this is my second horse mackerel. I didn't notice. The person who's accompanying me has given up, so I'm gonna <laughs> eat the plate. <laughs> I was contemplating whether I should um, order some more or not, so I thought I'd just like, you know, have these. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Salmon. Hi. Last three pieces. Let's do this. I'm starting to get quite full. But yeah, they do charge some extra money if you happen to leave any food behind. So make sure you order whatever you can eat. Unlike my, my company, who couldn't eat the whole thing. Which sushi goes last? Fatty tuna. I'll have the sea urchin first. Oh my god guys, last freaking piece of sushi. I am so overloaded. I'm actually really full. I am full, overloaded, stuffed, but I'm gonna do it. Do, 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 last piece of sushi. mission accomplished i'm sure the sushi counter was on the screen but i think i ate 40 pieces of sushi if i count the temaki as two sushi because they're quite big so yeah freaking 40 pieces of sushi that means one piece of sushi was like a hundred hundred something yen i think that's great value for money what do you think anyway i am so freaking overloaded so i'm probably gonna have like a cup of coffee after this to cleanse my palate and also you know cleanse my stomach from all the fish fat despite some of the negative reviews on TripAdvisor that I saw I thought this place had really fresh sushi and the quality I thought was really good and if you can eat as much as me then it's definitely worth the money so yeah I do recommend this place it's good experience as well let me know how many sushi you guys would be able to eat and if you think this place would be worth for you and your stomach capacity I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more future videos about Japanese foods and culture bye roasted roasted smoked <laughs>